We're live at New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, where country music started. Uh, I better check it for you, Grim. Nashville has the lowest number of teeth per person. Whatever. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Hexon Oilers take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> oh, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster and then warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo? Stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. <gasps> Second down in a very lot. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy game. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, We'll take it. And it's first and ten. Not Hot one, hot two. Hey, welcome to the Groid Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Roy burger, large Roy fries. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Third down and three. but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second and three. And it's 
first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. And this is a first and low. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full up. We're talking about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Now, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like... Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does. Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. Yeah, need to get his mother. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he just lets that one go. He says no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten.
And the defense was reading him like a book. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. <laughs> And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. First down to five. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. <laughs> no, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Lateral to his teammate. We're talking street. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. Third down and a pussy here. are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten.
First down in a mile. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and eight. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Briggs. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Smart move there, stopping the clock with her first time out. Yeah, for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. First down at six. <laughs> and that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. It's a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. First down. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real... They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives. I grim. You know, you just 
summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, what a brutal hit! Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I'm off. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Briggs. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go into a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Baby, no, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Is that a bad guy brain getting crushed? is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Huh? 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 
You've got to catch that. Third and four. feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. First down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, probably all the diet. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Third down and long. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Oh, oh. oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and nine. <laughs> he had it for a second there. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, 
mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Look, he finds his head. He'll be okay. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. Hey, man. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. You can't. Looks like it's a good fit. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pop? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? Pow, with the brain scrambler. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's 
first and ten. First and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the dr You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Third down and six. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me well you mistaken man you get up my grill i'm gonna ruin your world i'm gonna wreck it don't make any mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it's good right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and the QB might as well just bury himself. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking it. Cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. First and two. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Well, you're talking about points. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's 
it's first and ten. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Yeah. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, listen, they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Third down, and that's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Huh? The way to move the chains, that's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and four. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it does his power to green like a haiku! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! The kick is good! Quite a nail biter today. They came up big with a one point win to seal the victory. Who wants wings? I do. Make them extra spicy. I like it when they come out hotter than when they go in. I'm buying. Let's listen to the MVP. Maybe he wants some wings too. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.